Okay. So for this next episode of the Two Say Now, we're going to be talking about the Marvel audio drama series, Wastelanders. Now, Wastelanders is kind of sort of themed after a specific point in time in the Marvel where there wasn't really a Wolverine, but this is Marvel. And we all know Marvel loves money. So there was an alternate dimension Wolverine known as Old Man Logan. However, that's now spun off into a bit of a what if series and occasionally in the comic books, a what else is happening in that place. I don't remember the specific dimensional code. And for those who aren't sure what I mean about that, long story short, anytime there's an alternate dimension, Marvel gives it a numeric code. For instance, the real Marvel world where all the comic books primarily take place is called the 616. The MCU or the movie stuff is called the 1999-999. And no, I'm not sure if I got all the nines that go into that. There's a few too many. That being said, in particular, I want to get everybody interested from the start with Marvel's Wastelanders Hawkeye. Now, I know a lot of people either did or immediately lost interest in the Hawkeye series. Personally, I fucking loved it. Many people loved it. They did damn near everything right. Had a little bit of an issue with the rooftop fight scene, but that's another matter completely we're not going to get into. Essentially, one day, all the villains got together and they realized we outnumbered the quote-unquote supposed superheroes, at least the ones that are on the planet, by a large portion. So they systematically wiped them out over the course of, we'll say, 24 to 72 hours. That's the world that Old Man Logan comes from. In particular, he was tricked into killing the other X-Men. Now, how the hell he killed Iceman will forever evade my concept of knowledge and common sense, but it's a what if. So, for example, what if he just killed Iceman because Iceman was asleep at the time? He got tricked into doing it, by the way. Now, they do take some liberties here and there, but in particular, it's become a bit of its own audio drama-like franchise, and I'm enjoying it. Currently, the most recent one is Marvel Wastelanders Doom. There's Marvel's Wastelanders Wolverine, Black Widow, Old Man Star-Lord, Hawkeye, like I mentioned... And of course, there are some other audio dramas that they do or that were made in part by someone who is or was at Marvel proper. But I basically want to focus on the Wastelander series. Now, essentially, you would think it's all doom and gloom, no pun intended, given that Dr. Doom is featured in some of them. But the audio quality is insane. The special effects that you hear are very, very well defined. And also the talent is, I won't say next to none, but they are epic in their own right. For instance, now, this is something I would never expected, but I'm not a fan of Emma Frost. But Emma Frost being played by Vanessa Williams, I love it. I love every part of it. You get to see a different side of the characters because it's not them being optimistic about what's going on. Some of them are being petty. Some of them are turning into vengeful ghosts. Some of them don't want to give a shit about anything. Some of them don't care and regret what they've done, whether they were good or bad. And some of them are just insecure about the state of the world and they genuinely want to do something, but they think they're too old to, or they got to build up an underground resistance. You can get some of everything in these stories. And I do mean that. And expect lots of crossovers. As far as where to start, well, there's a reason that these things aren't numbered. You can genuinely listen to them in any order. I repeat, you can listen to them in any order. Yes, depending on where you start with the character, it may make more sense to go look at somebody else. But in particular, a lot of them are isolated and they're just all connected. Kind of like, you know, I live in Illinois. California's on the other side of the map. We're connected by America, but I don't know what the fuck's going on in California. Personally, if you like to do a little bit of critical thinking and like to, you know, build up suspense... They do have your classic James Bond-like post-apocalyptic looking area stuff when it comes to Black Widow. I would start there. However, if you want more of, you know, whatever floats your boat or something in the middle of, this is very intoxicating and fun to listen to, but also has a little bit of an upbeat comical side to it, I recommend Old Man Star-Lord. Christopher Elliott's in that one too. And for those of you new people know, that's not a superhero. He's an actor who's funny. Also... For those who are going to get into Doom, I'm going to tell you right now, you might not like uh, Doom's voice, lack of an accent, or his portrayal. However, they are a confident actor and it does sound good, but it does not give me the sensation and feeling that I'm listening to the most arrogant man to ever grace a comic page that has ever been. The one true Kanye himself, Victor Von Doom, who also doesn't have a doctorate. Now, 
Now, that one's still new. And when I say still new, at the time of this recording, there's only one episode out. However, just by listening to the credits, sometimes you can see or hear what characters are going to show up later. She-Hulk's going to be in this one. Ada, ada. So it's an automatic have to listen for me. I'm also very curious who's going to play She-Hulk. I might have missed it. Anyways, that's all I got to say. See you around the two, Senile.